This is like new malware behavior. As you can see, if I highlight a part of the screen, the wallpaper comes back, but the rest of it is black. Like, seriously, what is going on? I have never seen this before. So, today we're testing old malware versus the new Windows 11. As we all know, Windows has added security features over the years to make its protection more robust. There have been a lot of updates that kind of shut things down. So I wanted to see if we can still run three of the most infamous ransomware that were very destructive and that completely ripped your operating system. Some of them are going to destroy the MBR. I just want to see if they're still going to run, if they're still going to wreck the system. Now, of course, Windows does have detection, so it would detect these files as malware because they're very well known at this point. But that's not the point of this video. I'm turning off the signature components and I'm only interested in seeing if Windows is able to block these files behaviorally. So first up, we have Satana, which is a ransomware that completely destroys the MBR, stops the operating system from booting. Let's see if that happens on this brand new Windows system. As you can see, we have this wonderful wallpaper of Dennis Nedry from Jurassic Park. And within a few seconds, we actually have a prompt from Windows Security saying, ransomware found. This is vssadmin.exe that's not being allowed to run. The ransomware trying to use the Windows tool vssadmin is what triggered this uh, detection from Windows Security. Very interesting. But now I have a problem. I can't get rid of this prompt. Oh well, let's restore to snapshot and move on to the next one. Okay, new background, new malware. So we're gonna try Red Boot this time around and we'll see if that wrecks the system. This is also an MBR wiping malware. And again, it does seem to be detected, but uh, it does seem to have encrypted the files on the desktop first. And I do hear my fans ramping up and now the system is restarting. This may not be good news. We're trying to boot back in now. Let's see if that happens happens moment of truth we seem to have survived for now but something weird is happening as you can see our desktop background it's getting wiped out that can't be good now this is a very interesting glitch i have not seen this this is like new malware behavior as you can see if i highlight a part of the screen the wallpaper comes back but the rest of it is black like, seriously, what is going on? I have never seen this before. This is a very interesting effect of the ransomware that I have not seen in any of my prior testing experience. And if you go to the PC security channel and see how much malware I've run and how long I've been doing this, it is actually quite amazing that I have never seen this effect before. So this is a little Christmas treat for me. All right, time for number three. Now we're gonna execute Thanos and uh, let's see what happens this time. Once again, I do hear the fans ramping up on my computer so something's happening let's see how our jurassic park tour continues uh oh it looks like our files did indeed get encrypted windows did pop up some kind of detection but the damage has been done don't worry, I don't want to lose your files too. But yeah, I guess this shows Windows is still highly susceptible to ransomware, encryption behavior, threats of that nature, but the MBR protection seems a little bit better because we haven't had the system completely wiped out in any of these instances. Now, Thanos, I don't think does that, but I'm pretty sure Red Boot does that, and I'm pretty sure Satana does that. We have seen some weird system behavior though when we ran Red Boot, so I don't know what to make of that, but it definitely did survive better than it would in the past. That's for sure. And I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I wanted to do something special for the holiday season. Now, just for fun, I want to do one last thing. I want to run Red Boot again, but this time I've turned off real-time protection. So let's see if that changes anything. Once again, our files are encrypted very quickly, but the important thing to see is going to be, is it still able to survive? So are there any inherent defenses in the MBR? Or is it just Windows Defender kicking in, blocking that behavior? And did not survive that. Looks like like our MBR is wiped and the system does not start. So we only just survived the previous test because Windows Defender kicked in behaviorally and blocked the ransomware, deleted the file and stopped the process, deleted the file. That's what kind of prevented that. But otherwise, MBR override still very much a thing. Now, another thing that's quite nostalgic for me is Kaspersky. It's been one of the first security solutions that I used. And we spoke a lot about malware of the past, but they're actually thinking about threats of the future. And that's why they wanted to sponsor this video to kind 
kind of show you one of the new components that they've been working on to block threats like phishing, which is how most people get hacked today. It happens in all sectors, for home users, for people at work, even government officials get hacked by falling for some kind of Microsoft phishing email. So they have built this really sophisticated AI-based phishing detection system. And as we'll see in a couple instances here, they're able to detect and block phishing sites zero day without them being manually flagged. With most phishing sites, by the time they're reviewed, they're flagged and you know it's phishing, it's too late. And that's where this technology is really interesting. So if we go back and open this one, this is the Call of Duty phishing page. Again, we get the same alert. And here's one that's relevant to Meta or Facebook. You get this account violation notice in your email, and then they tell you that you have to fill up this form to prevent your pages from being deleted. But of course, it's a phishing site. But let's try the URL. And again, it has been blocked. It's a very interesting module, and hopefully it's going to stop a lot of people from getting hacked. Now, I want to thank Kaspersky once again for sponsoring this video. And if you'd like to check them out, use the link in the description. It's going to give you the best deal. And of course, thank you all so much for watching till the end of this video. Please like and share it. Really makes my day. And don't forget to subscribe to the PC Security Channel. This is Leo. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.